Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a brand new week and also a little mini series on The Foot Accountant's YouTube channel because team of the season is rapidly approaching and it is time to prepare. So what we do almost every year as we roll into the team of the season time frame, is we do a little team of the season tot preparation series where we have a few videos talking about specific areas of the market and how you can get ready for one of the most exciting promos of the year on the market with your club on this game in so many different aspects and how you can just kind of get in the right mindset for the crazy promo of team of the season that is going to take up like the next month and a half on this game when it is released here in a week and a half two weeks, a little less than two weeks now, like week, week and a half, depending on the release date, it is almost here. So we're going to get ready for team of the season today. What we're going to focus on is just team of the season in general, kind of preparing our, you know, what are your goals for team of the season? Because that is very important. If you think about it from a FIFA Ultimate Team club management standpoint, how many coins you have, what cards you have in the club, what your current team looks like, um, that is a big factor in how you should plan going forward into team of the season. And also, we're going to talk about one of the specific and I think most popular conversations to really speak on during team of the season is we've had a market crash. We've seen prices that have been dropping continually over the past, honestly, like two and a half weeks. I mean, this Jude Bellingham has gone from 1.8 mil down to 1.06, 1.07, I believe, 1.08 he is right now at the moment. Mbappe is down 100K. Lucas Paqueta was 800,000 coins. He's now 460. Like what? You know? So we've seen a lot of panic selling. A lot of you guys want to know, when do I buy some of these cards that are out of packs? Because that's one of the most popular things to do is buy out of packs cards as they rise up after a team of the season comes out in that first week or two. So buying a team, buying cards as investments, we're going to start that conversation today. That's going to be an ongoing conversation as we get closer and closer to team of the season because the perfect buy time is going to be so hard to find. We are in that low time frame where prices are really, really cheap, and it all just depends on what content EA drop. And we're in the quote unquote buy window. It just all depends on could prices go a little bit lower if EA drop better content. So we're going to take a look through all of those things. Also, we're going to take a look at the foot captains content from yesterday. Busquets, Payet, Coleman is a W. We had one of the best value SBCs for just a cool card as well. And Pepe is like 23,000 coins to do. Dirt cheap, lovely dynamic image insane stat boost for a card very usable and that also has to factor into the conversation for how cracked team of the season is going to be this year because the power curve is already so insane the cards that they're going to be giving boost to we have team of the season voting as well i'll show you my vote and talk through how that relates to information on this game there's just so much to cover. It's going to be wild. Team of the season is going to be crazy as well. So if you're excited for episode number one of this little mini series, hit the thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you are new. So let's take it from the top, right? The number one thing that I always think about with team of the season is what are you going to do? How many coins you got? Of course, team of the season brings so much content to this game. SBCs, like guaranteed TOTS SBCs. We're going to talk about those and fodder later on because fodder moves so much during team of the season and it's affected so much by all the SBCs that come out. Upgrade packs, right? Today on Monday, we hopefully will get upgrade packs inside of the Foot Captain's Team 2 promo, but upgrade packs and trying to pack as many team of the seasons as possible is something I love to do during team of the season. But also you think about all the insane cards that are dropped during these promo and during this whole month and a half long promo of team of the season, you're going to have some of the most insane stat boost insane cards, maybe some skill move and weak foot upgrades as well. You're going you're going to want to try out a lot of cards. So you might need to have some coins for that or you might need to have coins to buy some out of pack special cards, foot birthdays, foot captains, maybe a hero captain's card, a fantasy foot, any of these number of crazy promos. We've had so many promos this year. There's more special cards than ever on the game this year. And, you know, you might want to buy a couple of these for your team when you start trying out team and season cards. You know the market's dropped off so much. So you're like, yo, Nate, I, I need to buy some cards, whether it's just for my team or to make coins. There's going to be opportunities for all of that during team and season. But the first thing you really have to nail down is what combination with how many coins you have and, again, stuff you have in the club, what combination of those things are you going to do? Uh, kind of break up the amount of coins you have, right? Technically, at the moment, I have got like 22 million coins in total. I've got about 22 mil, and I'm telling myself, okay, I want to spend, I at least want to end the team of the season with like 5 million coins still. So I've got 15 mil to spend on upgrade packs and 
um, SBCs during the promo itself of the five or six weeks that it's gonna run and stuff like that. So at the same time, I also wanna try to make some coins so that I can increase that coin total and even spend more coins if needed during the duration of that promo and keep enough coins liquid and not be so 100% invested that I can't go out and try brand new TOTS cards that are on the game. So for me, it's a combination of doing upgrade packs, trying out new cards and making coins. But I know for a lot of you guys, you really wanna buy some cards for your team and that's, after you kind of decide what your mindset's going to be, that's the question that I want to tackle today. So, of course, we have to talk a few things related to the actual release date of Team of the Season. Of course, yesterday, we had this Community Tots vote that was released. And, of course, upon this being released, you did see a few more cards dropping on the market. But there wasn't any crazy content yesterday that really drained coins. So, prices are, yes, down. But a lot of prices aren't down like tremendously amounts more than than yesterday right when we convened last night for the video we were looking at sancho and i believe he was like 580 right he's 566 at the moment paqueta was 480 yesterday he is five or 450 i believe right now right paqueta 480 he went down to 427 and then bounced back up a little bit so this is what you're looking for right the panic selling days like this it's like nate paqueta is down like 50 percent in price is this too cheap it's getting really really freaking low for Paqueta, in my opinion. Again, the hardest time for buying a team and buying out of pack special cards. I know there's so many insane ones this year, especially with the captain's cards that we just got. It's yes, it is about the timing, but in the general scheme of things, we are in the low point right now. And like, Nate, what are you talking about? What does this mean for the low point? We've seen prices dropping. This is a throwback to last year. We've seen prices dropping just like this for the past month, but always what happens during the first two weeks of team of the season is People open packs, people come back to the game and use FIFA points or saved up packs. They open all of these card packs in the game and it brings coins on the market and that makes card prices go up. Everybody is scared to buy before team of the season because they're worried. And then of course the flip, the, the switch flips and cards go the other way. Look at this Bukayo Saka, Future Stars, right? Really great card last year for the power curve. 800,000 coins out of packs card. By the time team of the season is going, for Premier League, which is like two weeks later, he goes from 800K to 1 million coins. So a 200,000 coin rise, you know, if you buy some cards, it's an investment. And also you can use that card in your team, right? It's kind of like a, one of those opportunities like before Black Friday we had earlier this year, which, you know, every single year for a team of the season, we see that sort of movement. But I really want to focus on this year's market and the movements we've seen this year because this year's market is so much different than in years past. I'm looking back to Black Friday, right? We had some crazy panic selling for Black Friday the week before that promo came out. Very popular in meta card, like this Rule Breakers Usman, went from 550K down to the low 400s and then exploded back up over 500,000 coins after Black Friday. Same thing with the Joao Felix card, numbers up, went from 800,000 coins down in the panic selling to 600k it was also right after he went out of packs so his supply was still pretty high right there at the moment and then a couple weeks later boom 790,000 coins i know there's a little bit of a live upgrading aspect to this card so we have to factor that in there as well but oftentimes what you see is what we just looked at with these graphs you see panic selling panic selling panic selling then you see the cards bounce back and they rebound after team of the season or even like right before leading up to team of the season you start to see that bounce back because people are like oh my goodness these pr these prices have got so low people have been panic selling for the last month now and you know the the switch kind of flips look at this dibala man 1.3 mil all the way down to 850 right i know syria tots is not for a, a longer while it's, it's normally i think it's actually at the end of the team of the season this year based off of the leaks uh which we have some very interesting leak conversation to talk about today but regardless of what cards you really want to buy for your team the cards that are going to rise the most if you're looking purely from an investing perspective the cards that are going to rise the most are going to be the most meta popular usable items right that paqueta is a big name that i think will rise very well after your team of the season if you want to buy one of those for your team you're probably looking for the low 400s for that card to pull the trigger same thing with this jelson right he was 600,000 coins albeit probably overpriced he's now down on the 300s if this drops like to 350 a five-star skiller i know that he's got ben yetter links i know league one tots isn't for a while but this guy's meta. People are going to want to buy him 
put them back in their teams. That's the team of the year cards as well, like a Jorginho, Marquinhos, Hakimi, um, Cancelo. Those are all cards that I would really, really watch. I think this week is going to be your, your time to buy. Sometime in the next seven days, between this Monday and probably next Monday or Tuesday, of course, it all depends on the content that EA released. That's the caveat with this. And that's why I'm having this conversation with you guys early today is because we, we need to start looking now. And again, as we talk about planning and setting goals and, hey, what cards do I need to buy for my team for team of the season? Just, again, start to plot that out. Build a concept squad so you know what cards you need to watch that you want to buy for your team um before they start to rise up after team of the season actually comes out and i think in the next seven days we are in the buy window we really really are a card dropping 50 percent in price like this lucas paqueta is he going to go back up to 800k no could he go back up to like maybe uh, up 100k to like 550 or 600 in the next two weeks potentially right foot birthdays are so unique because they have that five star either weak foot or skill move upgrade and a lot of the cards as we know like cruz paqueta so many other examples got that double five star five star five star weak foot and skill moves so there's a lot of hype for those cards as well and the power curve is such an insane point this year that um you know these cards are still like almost end game and so usable because of the crazy stats they have some tots cards are going to look just like this they'll be really cheap but the power curve is so insane that there's going to be really nuts tots cards, but there's also going to be some that just fall in line with where the power curve has been recently. And there's potential to underwhelm with that, which I think out of packs cards this year could do really, really, really good. Even though there's so many more of them with all the promos we've had, I think out of packs cards are going to really, really do well uh, because they've done well so many times this year in panic selling and then bounce back, especially for the most meta items so one thing that we have to talk about with this is what is what is actually the leaked date for team of the season community when is this actually going to start when's the show going to start well this was the voting that we had yesterday by the way this is my vote i know we've clicked on this page a couple times and looked at it um what i really chose here is it's i guess it's technically my vote but i really tried to put together a vote that i think would be really realistic and if i look at this team and i compare it to the community tot squad of last year of course zaha was in i think fifa 20 tots uh and he had a really cracked card people were excited about him i would say lacazette nabry fred uh laporte yoris i feel like those are basically like shoe ins honestly like i've said before this voting is more like a popularity contest more than anything else last year in team of the season like look at the teams and the clubs that are represented in here right spurs bayern Manchester United, you've got Leicester, you've got Real Madrid, Leverkusen, Leipzig, PSG, right? They're, they're going to be putting in cards into these packs that represent the biggest clubs in the world because that's what sells packs and that's what people want to see in FIFA as well. So you take a look at the vote this year. I mean, I think Fred is a shoe in I really hope Bremer gets a card because if he is in the voting for Community Tots, that most likely means he's not going to be in Serie A team this season. And I really want to see a Bremer special after the year that he's had. Of course, I'm voting for the boy Yuris. Carrasco would be cracked. Again, Nabry, Suarez, Zaha. Lacazette just got a captain's card. But hey, if you're going to give him another one, EA Sports, go for it. So I think this squad right here is one of the most realistic ones. Of course, there could be some other guys that get in. I really think that another one of these English defenders, um, like honestly, Connor Cody or Botman, maybe Dawson could get in from the defenders from the midfield. There's a lot of options here. Parejo could potentially be in. Zambo Anguisa from the Serie A would be a really cracked card. John McGinn could potentially get in. Vanekin possibly. Kakare, maybe some OP uh, people voting for him after how OP he was earlier on um, in the year. And uh, Douglas Louise, right? Moses Simon. There's a lot of good midfielders in here. I feel like Fellaini after his Rule Breakers card, which I still have in the club. There's so many great cards that are in the voting here. But again, what it's going to boil down to is, yes, more of the most popular players are going to get in. Now, this was released yesterday on Sunday but can we take a quick look into this? This is some. This is me putting my thinking cap on here. This voting is only open for three days. And this is what confuses me a little bit. Everybody has been saying, and this is the leak right here, that Team of the Season is not starting, that these community cards are not getting released until April 29th. But I'm just confused as to why the voting is so short. It ends 10 a.m., April 20th, that's Pacific time. So that's going to end up, that, I think that's like, that's content drop time. That'd be 6 p.m. UK on the 20th, which is what, Wednesday? So Wednesday the 20th at 6 p.m., voting ends. 
I don't think that's enough time for EA Sports to release this community team of the season on Friday the 22nd because they would have to make up the cards, tally the votes, create the items, send out all their information for the stats. And, you know, they, there's a lot of communication that has to go on with these cards. Um, I feel like it would be such a short turnaround window for them to release TOTS on the 22nd. I think the 29th uh, seems the most legit. I know it's leaked, but again, we have to always take leaks with a grain of salt. I think that makes the most sense to me, but it still is a bit interesting to me why the voting is open for only those short few days. I don't really understand that. Um, but again, it does seem like the 29th of April is going to be the time frame for when we will see community team of the season on the market. So of course, as we talk about buy times for these cards, yes, we are in the, the low, right? As we take a look through some of these special cards, um, like the Kamavinga is down, Stones is down, Lucas Moore is down a lot. He got his plus three upgrade confirmed on the weekend. A lot of those fantasy foot cards are going to get upgraded this coming th uh, Thursday, by the way. And some of them will be getting their plus three, their third final upgrade. Wow, Suarez is 375, but he's in the voting for Community Tot. So that's really interesting. Odegaard being a 5-5, Allen with such great links. I know we might get a Fred, but I think Fred would be so expensive for a Tots card. Allen would probably still be a card that would bounce back. Tony Cruz, Nuno Menge. You know, there's going to be so many cards focusing back onto the, um, you know, buying a team and investing in cards that are going out of packs. There's going to be so many items that bounce back so well after the first two weeks of team of the season. It's all just about figuring out which cards you want to buy for your team or for investment purposes and uh, just start watching their prices. And as we have content come out, even today on Monday, right? Today on Monday could be a potential day where we see some more prices dropping because we've got a big SBC that is ending in this Icon Moments upgrade. Um, and I would imagine, of course, with a big promo coming, EA, like they did last week, are probably going to release some Gamble Pack SBCs. They're going to release some content that is going to drain coins off of this game and off of the market. And I would be shocked if they didn't have another Icon gamble pack type SBC, whether it's an icon moments upgrade like this again maybe a bit of a cheaper cost if it's a player pick that would drain even more coins off the market i think they're going to re-up another sort of icon gamble SBC, and that could cause some more panic on the market today i don't think the panic is necessarily done all i'm saying is we are in the low right it's going to be nearly impossible to time the perfect opportunity to buy each and every one of the cards that you're trying to find but if you just get them in the low and you know they've dropped off like 40, 50%, like that Lucas Paqueta has dropped off 45% in price, or like Foot Birthday Fakir is down so much, this Bellingham is down so much in value, you know that you're getting such an insane price for a rare meta card like that, which by the way, those are going to be the ones that rise the best. These rare out of packs meta cards that people are, you know, using the most. If you want to know which cards people are using the most, just go on Footbin. And uh, under the players tab up here, I, I look at this page all the time. If you guys didn't know how to get here, you go players down to popular. And these are the cards that people are searching up the most on Footbin's website. And that really tells you cards that you see here all the time, like this Paqueta. Um, Ginola is one that you see here like all the time. Team of the years are a mainstay. Oh my gosh, Ruben Diaz. Rudiger, 339, my guy. Dude, this guy was 700K, 660K when the panic selling started. He's down literally 50% in price. And people are going to buy this card back up after team of the season starts because they know he's one of the most meta and usable and also going to be linkable uh, center backs in the game. I know if a, a Laporte comes out, yeah, that'd be sick. But Rudiger is just so cracked, people are going to buy him back. So that'd be a card I would put on my short list for a card to rise uh, after team of the season comes out as well. But just watch out for more panic this week. Again, it's going to be hard to time that absolute low point. But if you find, and maybe if you set some low prices, like, okay, if I find Paqueta at like 410,000 coins or 420, like he was yesterday, 427, okay, that's too low. I'm going to buy it. That's kind of the stuff that you have to do when you're buying in this week on this game. So that's kind of the whole conversation about buying cards and buying a team. And we're going to follow the market all week this week, right? Of Ken, the captains, I'm honestly, some of these hero captains cards like Robbie Keane, Mario Gomez, some of these guys are so rare. It's going to be interesting to follow them, especially since they're still in packs. Robbie Keane is what, 696, but he has two pages of supply on the market. Where's that Betty Pele? He was like 1.05 earlier. This guy just keeps dropping. I think one one million coins for a Betty Pele. It just seems so cheap. It's crazy, right? It's, it's it's really really crazy. But like, of course, everything keeps dropping. So you just kind of have to watch these drops 
I'd be more careful with the cards in packs and focus on the cards that are out of packs more so. So that's kind of the whole buying teams conversation. And we're going to follow prices every single day throughout this week. I know that's a really, really big topic for a lot of people. And that's why we're going to continue to talk about it. And that's why I wanted to talk about it today once again. So let's take a look at today's content on Monday. We already talked about the Icon SBC. Um, I think they're going to re-up one of these. Last week on Monday, we had the 85 plus player pick pack. It was our first of three gamble SBCs that we had last week. Um, I believe that the EA, it would be in EA's best interest, like I said, again, to drop another SBC like that. We don't have any leaks right now for a big time SBC. Uh, the only leak that we actually have at the moment is for a Canales and Gabriel Paulista showdown SBC, which both these cards look really cracked. I think these are, yeah, stats are a prediction. Um, but both those cards, Paulista needs a little bit more pace, but Canales looks pretty cracked. We, other than that, right now, we don't have a ton of other leaks except for our daily icon moments players, right? That we've been talking about, Zidane and Maldini. Those are the two big boy icon moments SBCs that people are um, kind of waiting for, and we have not seen them yet. Yesterday, we had Casillas, which was really solid value, but we're really waiting for EA to drop the big boys, the big guns, if you will. Uh, for these Icon Moments player SBCs. I also think today on Monday would be an upgrade pack day. Uh, last week, and this this would this would also contribute to a lot of more panic selling and prices dropping further on the game this week. If they drop another Icon upgrade pack today, more Icon Moments player SBCs like they have been doing and they said they will do. But if they drop an 80 plus player pick times four, once again, I spent like 750K on those upgrade packs last week. People would be crafting their brains out again this week with that player pick with the foot captains that we have in packs at the moment. You've got a Lacazette, you've got the Busquets, you've got the Henderson. People would be crafting SBCs and they would be spending a lot of coins this week. So I think it's, oh, 382. Yeah, that got bought. I think it's in EA's best interest if they release a big upgrade SBC like that today. I just don't know if they're going to do it. I really hope that they do. And that would really kind of give us an idea where EA might be going with content this week if they go ahead and do that. But some sort of upgrade pack I would expect today, maybe a moments uh, upgrade and a moments icon SBC like those uh, one of those big ones that we talked about. Now, let me just speak really quickly about a really weird situation. I know we have the mini release. Busquets is great. Payet is awesome. Coleman is dope as well. And the Casillas SBC from yesterday is a W. Need I say more about Pepe, right? We, we mentioned him. Incredible value. Get this done. It's, it's literally one of the best value SBCs that we have had this year. 83 squad, one team of the week. Crafted this week if you have nothing else to do. Uh, the goalkeeper Casillas uh, is a W SBC as well. I still think he looks like Ben Davies in this picture. Tottenham fans might agree a little bit because you can't see his whole face. Anyways, um, I think this is a great value craft as well. Six squads, it's like 300 and something thousand coins. W for an icon goalkeeper. You have got links uh, in goal for the rest of your ultimate team in FIFA 22 if you do an SBC like that. Now, this leak, and this is a, a conversation really quickly to end this video about a end of an era Aguero. And I don't think we talked about it here on the main channel at all because, you know, I just never got around to it, to be honest. But we had some interesting things happen yesterday on FIFA. Well, our main resident leaker, Foot Sheriff, tweeted out, Pepe, Aguero, and Casillas coming tonight. He tagged FIFA Romania, which is another leaking account that has been pretty accurate with leaks. But yesterday, this uh, Roma FIFA Romania account said that Aguero was coming, added a concept card and stuff, and... Um, Foot Sheriff's there, there was a, basically it was it was Twitter leaker beef drama yesterday because Sheriff was using his uh, leaks from FIFA Romania and retweeting him and saying, hey, this guy says that Aguero was coming and he's been pretty correct. Aguero didn't drop. Everybody was upset at Sheriff and FIFA Romania. And now it's just, okay, leakers are in the mud a little bit because of this. So this is, again, just a nice reminder to keep you're believing in leaks, just keep that in check a little bit because you never know when things seem really, really legit. Even with the Maldini and the Zidane, I'm starting to kind of, you know, catch myself a little bit. Like, were those legit leaks too? Because maybe it seems like EA is being a little fishy with these leaks that are, or feelers that they're putting out for whatever reason. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm being very, very, very careful with the least that I believe. So that's kind of the situation. An end of an era Aguero would be so nasty. It'd be so sick. I would love that card. 
I just don't know if that leak was really legit or not. So that's why I didn't end up talking about it. I'm glad I didn't to get you guys' hopes up. If you were, I mean, I'd be stoked for Naguero. I would want to do that card. I hope he does get one. I think he deserves one. I know we had one last year, um, but I think some of the guys on Twitter are making a really good point. His gold card's not in packs anymore. So that would, you know, be one strike against him for not getting a new card. Um, is if he's kind of been removed from the game, even though it's an SBC. I don't know. EA knows that stuff, of course. I don't know, like, the, the technicalities, the, the legal aspect of that for FIFA, if they pull a card out of packs and yada yada. But that's kind of what's going on in this game at the moment. It should be a fun day of content. We're going to be back streaming again today. Check that link down below in the description. And hopefully today's video helped you out a little bit. More to come. We're going to talk about SBC fodder. Uh, we're going to talk about more of the upgrade packs, how you can get ready for those. And again, follow the market for buying teams and investing and, in, you know, even like trading with team of the season players. We'll kind of make some um, market moves and talk about that as team of the season approaches as well. So that's going to be the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on a comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the foot account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.